No matter how big the budget, stars, or spectacle of a Hollywood blockbuster, some of the coolest twists and surprises happen behind the scenes. You serious? Here's another dose of rapid-fire trivia about your favorite films. Star Wars The Force Awakens Along with the main heroes, the new Star Wars movie adds rebel pilot Poe Dameron to the story, with everyone assuming he's dead for most of the movie. But in the original script, the character actually did die. It was only after Oscar Isaac accepted the role that they came up with an excuse for him to appear in future movies. When Rey asks Han Solo if he's the famous smuggler she's always heard about, he replies that he used to be. It isn't just a clever jab at the character's younger days, but a regular line of Ford's. When he took his castmates out for dinner, they all watched as a waiter asked if he was Harrison Ford. Ford gave him the same reply. Batman vs Superman Zack Snyder's vision of an older, darker Batman isn't just a change for fans, but for the studio too. Since Ben Affleck is a year and a half older than Christian Bale, it's the first time ever that a new Batman actor is older and not younger than the one before. The times they are a-changing. Ben Affleck actually got a personal blessing and some advice from Christian Bale, but it wasn't planned. Just weeks after his casting was announced, Affleck was shopping for his son's Batman costume in an LA Halloween store. It was there that he ran into the former Dark Knight, shopping for the same costume for his own son, in that exact aisle. Spider-Man When the deal between Marvel and Sony was made, fans waited to see what actor would land the part of the brand new Spider-Man. It's no surprise that the reboot will once again follow Peter Parker through high school. But at just 19, Tom Holland is the first actor who could actually be in Peter's classes. Both previous actors were close to 30 when they took on the role. Captain America Civil War The battle between Iron Man and Captain America was originally very different with Tony Stark only having a minor role. But Robert Downey Jr. wanted a bigger one, which would bring a bigger price tag along with it. The executives were split, but the opportunity was too good to pass up, and Marvel Studios' leadership was completely reorganized, with those opposing Downey's salary removed from the process. Mad Max Fury Road it's hard to believe that the stars of this critical hit doubted their director, but star Tom Hardy admitted that shooting weeks in the desert without much of a script had him leave the production frustrated. So it wasn't pride he felt the first time he saw the movie, admitting that the first thing that popped into his head was that he owed George Miller an apology. As gory as the movie is, there is no cursing in Mad Max. The only thing that comes close is when the dag refers to Max as a crazy smeg who eats schlanger. They sound bad, but smeg comes straight from the British sitcom Red Dwarf used in place of a profanity, and Schlange is German for snake. The Avengers Age of Ultron Most of Marvel's movie heroes take some cues from the Ultimates versions, but that wasn't the case with Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. In the Ultimates story, they're not just brother and sister, but lovers. The incest was left out of the movie, but the actors made sure to always seem a bit too close as a nod for the fans. The mutant heroes owe their powers to their father Magneto, but due to rights issues between Marvel and Fox, they're not mutants in the MCU only gifted test subjects. When actress Elizabeth Olsen confused the terms during the Comic-Con panel for Age of Ultron, her castmates and the crowd were quick to correct her, as loudly as possible. X-Men Apocalypse Taking the mutant super team back to the 1980s was a dream come true for director Brian Singer, making sure to include clothes, music, and movies that he loved when he was actually living. When the young characters visit a video arcade, it's actually a recreation of the spaceport, the exact arcade Singer frequented as a kid in New Jersey. The villain of the movie, Apocalypse, was immortalized as a major X-Men villain in the massive comic crossover, Age of Apocalypse. The director and writers have confirmed that the movie was originally going to feature the same name, but had to be changed when both Avengers Age of Ultron and Transformers Age of Extinction would make the title seem worn out. Suicide Squad The first pictures of Jared Leto's Joker showed he was all in on becoming the villain, but staying in character on set wasn't easy on his castmates. Leto delivered a surprise gift of a live rat to Margot Robbie, his character's lover. Things weren't as nice for the rest of the cast. They got a pig fresh from the butcher stuffed with bullets. Ever wonder what happens to famous movie props? Harley Quinn's weapon of choice in the movie is a baseball bat, based on her reimagining in the Batman Arkham video games. When Kevin Smith helped promote DC's upcoming movies, he got a prop bat as a gift, passing it on to his own daughter who he'd already named after the crazed character. Jurassic World The fourth installment of this dinosaur series didn't feature any of the original film's heroes, but it did feature one cameo, sort of. Scattered throughout the movie are glimpses of Ian Malcolm's book, assumed to be his account of his trip to the original Jurassic Park, simply titled God Creates Dinosaurs, a line from the original film. To shape their version of the park's control center, the crew visited the control rooms of both Universal Studios and NASA's Mission Control. When the director learned the theme park's brain is operated by a handful of employees using outdated monitors, he turned to NASA and imagination to do the rest. Furious 7 Even though Paul Walker passed away before the movie could be finished, his friends and family found a way to get a piece of him on screen. The effects team used CG to insert Walker into the final drive beside star Vin Diesel, but the car he's driving was the actor's very own white Toyota Supra, purchased after driving the same model in the first movie. 
Man of Steel. Knowing that the impressive Kryptonian armor worn by Zod's forces might only be added digitally, actor Michael Shannon only accepted the role when Zack Snyder promised he'd have armor, not just a brightly colored bodysuit on set. When Shannon arrived on the first day of shooting, he met Snyder first, who offered him an apology and a mocap bodysuit. Inside Out the movie may take place mainly inside a young girl's brain, but the Pixar staff still found a way to work in their own experiences. A pizzeria that uses broccoli as a topping is made the butt of a joke, but it's based on a real place in nearby Berkeley, California. It's the Cheese Board Collective, which is frequented by Pixar employees. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation Tom Cruise finally meets his match in the franchise's fourth movie in the form of actress Rebecca Ferguson. Critics and audiences appreciated that her character took off her high heels before a fight, sticking with realism, especially when Jurassic World was being slammed for ignoring the issue. When the studio suggested they cut new TV spots to highlight the difference, the star and director decided against it, claiming it would only be twisting the knife in their big screen competition. Those are some of our favorite bits of lesser known trivia in recent blockbusters, but what are yours? Let us know in the comments and remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.